Hi, I'm Mo Volans, and this is FreakShift from Tonstern. At its heart, FreakShift is a dual frequency shifter capable of everything from subtle modulation and stereo enhancement to more extreme atonal effects, perfect for building tension and creating atmospheric backdrops. Before we explore Freak Shift's feature set, let's take a moment to explain what frequency shifting is. Technically speaking, frequency shifting is the process of shifting all component frequencies of a sound by an equal amount. Put more simply, this results in an extremely clean, zero latency frequency shifting effect that in contrast to more traditional pitch shifters won't adversely affect transients. And this means your sounds will stay punchy and present in your mix, even after extreme processing. In this video, I plan to show you the diverse sounds that FreakShift is capable of and how to craft your own patches. But first up, let's take a look at its interface and feature set so you're completely familiar with the workflow involved. In my mind, FreakShift is split into four key areas. We've got the dual pitch shifters, an effects section featuring four effects that are inserted into the feedback path of the frequency shifters, the modulation engine, and this lower section where you have access to critical controls like stabilization, filters, and input and output gain. Let's take a look at how we can make a super simple modulation effect using one shifter and a single effect. This is the dry sound we're going to be treating in this example. Let's start by turning up the dry wet to 100% wet. We'll also engage a soft clip to capture any wayward transients. Now we want to set the frequency shifter range. In this case, 100 hertz is perfect. Now let's find a perfect musical value for shifter one. We don't want to hear too much of the effect at this point. Now let's increase the frequency spread to get that super stereo effect. Now let's apply some effects. We've got four effects here, but in this instance, we're only going to use the shifter. Let's add a little high pass to control the lows. And now mix to taste. Perfect. So in this example, let's step things up a little bit with an electronic sound. We'll start off where we left off in the last example, but we'll add a second shifter, a second effect, and some modulation. You can hear with this sound, even at 100% wet, things aren't quite as intense. So let's go ahead and set that second shifter to a faster rate and crossfade the two. Now I also want to modulate this second shift amount, so let's go across to the modulation engine and add a standard LFO. I'm going to sync the rate here to my DAW's BPM and have it change over a bar. To map this modulator to our shift 2 amount, all we need to do is hit the yellow assignment button. And now to the left of any parameter, you'll see this small control. You can add a positive or negative amount of modulation to any parameter you want. It's as simple as that, and the modulation mapping is now complete. Pretty much any parameter in FreakShift can be modulated in this way, and if you ever want to see the assignments that you've made, they're going to be right there below the modulator in the modulation window. Now let's add some effects. We're using the shifter that we've got in the previous example, but also some delay. Let's turn up the feedback. Let's play around with the feedback, the BPM setting, and the offset to get just the right flavor. FreakShift is great for treating harmonic sounds and acoustic instruments, but it's also amazing for creating non-harmonic effects. In this example, we're going to take an existing riser effect, make it more intense, and amplify it with FreakShift. Here's the sample before treatment. And here's the result with FreakShift engaged.
So how was this sound created? Well, a lot of it is down to the automation you can see here in the top lane controlling shifter one. It's just rising, creating that intense effect. We've also got aliasing switched on for extra artifacts, and we've got mid-side decoding switched on as well. On top of this, we've got the resonator effect switched on, turned up to about 11, so it's super intense. And finally, there's a random modulator modulating shifter one. If we right click on shifter one and select modulation assignment and go to random one, we can see the assignment there and turn it up and down. The random modulator is great for this sort of effect and you can get all sorts of unpredictable results. If we wanna make things a little more intense still, we could use the shifter and also some delay as well. Let's turn the feedback way up here to create a really interesting effect. So as you can see, it's easy to create really intense atonal effects with Freak Shift. Freak Shift is also excellent for treating drums. In this example, we'll take a look at a really complex patch. I'll fade between the dry and wet signal here. For this final example, I wanted to show you something a little different and something that utilizes every single feature in FreakShift. So first up, we've got a voice recording that's talking about FreakShift's features. Let's take a listen unprocessed. Frequency shifting is the process of shifting all component frequencies of a sound by an equal amount. So nice and clean, plenty of headroom. Now let's take a quick listen with the patch that I've rolled earlier Applied. Frequency shifting is the process of shifting all component frequencies of a sound by an equal amount. It only shifts the partials as well as the the sound and does not increase the number of partials. So a pretty crazy patch that truly uses every part of Freak Shift. But how's it achieved? Well, let's quickly go through it. Shifter 1 is modulated by an envelope follower. This means it's inherently linked to the dynamic signature of the voice. The frequency spread is also modulated by the same envelope follower, so the stereo spread changes over time. It's then crossfaded with the second shifter, set very differently, a lot lower, and this is modulated by a pretty slow moving LFO. On top of this, the effects are all utilized. The shifter is modulated, the delay time is modulated by that same LFO, and that's key because we get a zipper sound from the delay time being changed continuously. We've then got an intense resonator and a filter that removes some of the high end. I've also used the low cut and stabilized controls here to make sure that the feedback path is behaving itself. We're at 100% wet and I've also got soft clip engaged. So as you can see, plenty of modulators, plenty of effects and both shifters, both in action. Let's take another listen. Frequency shifting is the process of shifting all component frequencies of a sound by an equal amount. So what may seem like a very complex patch is actually quite easy to create and really demonstrates how far you can go with FreakShift. So hopefully you've enjoyed this overview of FreakShift and it showed you what a truly powerful and diverse processor it really is. Remember, if you want more information or you'd like to download a fully functional 14-day trial, visit the Tonstone website. Thanks again for watching and enjoy making your own sounds.